Hey, this is Lorenzo here. Uh, I'm doing another online Rome Total War commentary battle playing as the Greeks against Rockathurs, who is playing as the SPQR Romans. For my army, I've brought three units of Spartan Hoplites, gold attack, silver defense, four units of armored Hoplites, uh, but the gold attack and gold defense. Uh, on the right, I'm about to show you these, two units of Hoplites with the gold attack, gold defense, and a chevron for morale. Otherwise, they're going to route very fast. Five units of archers with mixed attack upgrades. And two units of heavy peltists with gold attack, silver defense, and a chevron for morale. Okay, so we're playing on the Pontic Peaks map, which basically means rush for the top of the hill. It's an equal distance for both teams to the hill. For some reason, he deploys further down the hill. Um, I'm not going up. I'm just going to go for the top of the hill and see, take the advantage of them. So he's got six units of urban cohorts, gold golden, gold attack, gold defense, backed up by three units of archers, Roman archers, with heavy upgrades, and four units of Praetorian cavalry with the gold attack upgrade, I assume. Um, I don't think he... He would only have picked the uh, gold attack upgrade because he was expecting Greek cavalry, nothing too strong that could break through even his armor, so he could route that instantly. Okay, so we're just sort of trading missiles. Uh, my heavy peltis is firing some javelins. Uh, my archer's firing his, and over the top of his head, he's just going with his archers. Um, I decide to push forward uh, because I'm pretty sure I can take the peeler and still um, put up a very good fight, especially as I'm fighting downhill. I try to throw some archers in front uh, to absorb it, but it doesn't quite work. Um, you take a lot less damage from Peeler if you stop moving in phalanx mo mode <laughs> when they fire it, so that's what I did. Um, now I just push forward. So, here goes nothing. Um, yeah, as I'm fighting downhill, I'm extremely confident that he's not really going to be able to kill too many of my men head on. And I'm, pr I'm pretty sure he knows that. So, he's about to move, he's moving his urban cohorts up my flank, but this is what my formation that I formed, this sort of block type block is built for for because uh, with Greeks you're always going to get enveloped unless well any player should be able to envelop you really because you don't have the cavalry to stop uh, stronger cavalry enveloping you so I'm going with the theory that if I'm going to be enveloped I might as well have some kind of way to stop all these uh, rear charges and hammer and anvils so yeah my men are engaged, fighting downhill. His uh, Praetorians chase off some archers. I'm not too bothered about that, really. Uh, yeah, it's looking good for me so far. I've got my general's unit right in the center of this big formation just to stop. Uh, that gives a morale boost to everything in the vicinity. Um, as you can see, he's even thrown in his archers for some absurd reason. I'm not sure how that's going to help. Um, it's quite tempting with this formation actually sometimes to sort of break formation and make your hoplites run after cavalry. If you're going to form up a second line, don't do that because it always means that there's going to be gaps made. Now I would have thought, if I was him at the moment, I'd be trying to push my... Do you see this gap here? That would be a good one to hit. Um, when my hoplites have their backs to him and engaged in urban cohorts. But it would be quite a um, difficult one to hit. And my archers are just firing into his cavalry, which for some weird reason he's not really responding to. He's, I think he was too focused in this fight, but what he's got to be focused on, I have no idea. Um, also, he, was, he tended to type to me um, stuff about, oh, your formation is quite similar to the noob box and stuff. Well, yeah, I guess so, in the way that I'm protecting my back with more spears, but, you know... That's just compensating for my lack of cavalry. And every noob box, everyone should know, is pretty easily defeated. Or should be able to. Um, now, I've got some hoplites going in the back there. Now, I want him to charge down this gap, which he does. And I push for my heavy pelters to flank him, and then my hoplites as well, which catches a lot of his cavalry off. Now, this severely reduces the numbers and even though the Spartan hoplites over here that have been fighting for ages actually do eventually rout I managed to rout off his cavalry and his urban cohort here in a minute uh, his cavalry there gets shot up by his own archers and then just
just get crushed uh, into my hot, large phalanx, which is far too large and not even engaged to be worried about that too much. Make sure when you're charging phalanxes in the back that they're actually engaged, otherwise you will take a lot more casualties than you need to. Um, I got Spartan Hot Plate fighting Urban Cohort here. This is good. He's doing okay. I think he dies in a second. There you go, he's dead. Um, here my general's unit, routing off another unit cavalry, which tried to get in. Um, and my hoplites, who with their upgrades can even hold off gold, gold urban cohorts, which is quite impressive for a unit that actually only cost about 900 denarii. As you can see, I've got an armoured hoplite uh, unit just routing over there on the left. You can see the flashing white banner, um, but it's too late for him. Routing one of them off is not going to help him too much now. I'm about to route off this unit of urban cohorts. And now I've got far superior numbers. I can even outflank him if I need to. And these guys are out very quickly. And so does his general. The enemy general is running away. This is no um, way for a leader to yeah. behave. It's, it's, it looked very good for me, basically. The plan went... As long as you don't split your box up too much, it's not box really, but your formation pretty much admitted fully to using a new box there. I did not use a new box, I used a very thick block formation with large reserve hoplites. Um, anyway, so he's got two units of archers left and an urban cohort. Uh, I'm just reforming up. I quite like doing it. Looks quite intimidating when you show you how much of your army you got left to his. And no doubt it works, because he was getting a little bit more mouthy now. He was, well, he was a nice guy, but he was... You could tell he was quite bitter about losing to the uh, this formation. As you can see, there's plenty of places to hit. And with six, I had seven, nine hoplites, and with six urban cohorts, you should probably be able to at least gauge most of them and still be able to get a lot of cavalry charges in. Um, so, here, we're just looking up. He's going to move his urban cohort up as I advance down the hill. Um, another point about new boxes, they tend people who use it tend to sit there and do absolutely nothing for the entire game until they're really threatened. Whereas with my formation, it's a lot more flexible and I can push forward. Yep. So uh, I routed off his men, and uh, let's look at the scores. That was a clear victory to me: 818 kills to me and 628 kills to Rakathos. Well played to Rakathos.